This is because we want to divide our posts using slice. I mean, we want to get the current posts for this current page. So we can have let current. Hey guys, I am Nishant and welcome to Cybernetico. So in this video, we will learn about implementing pagination in React. Basically what, why, what I have is here is a component for pagination. Nothing so difficult to understand. You can get it from the GitHub repo. I will put the link in the description and this posts component where I'm mapping the posts from this API from JSON placeholder. Fine. Got that. So also we have two, uh, one state and one variable, a simple variable called limit and one state called current page and set current. So this is one because the current page we are on is one. If you make this as let's say four, we will see four here. See, so basically this is it. Limit is the number of items or posts we want to see. For this case, we have this 10 here. So you want to see 10 posts per page that will be implemented later. So that was the introduction. And now let's get into it and see how to implement it in react. Now the first thing we need is to calculate the last and the first index. So to, to find the last index, we can say let last index. So the last index is the last index of the current post. For example, let's say we're showing posts from one to 10. The last index will be this last one. If you are showing from this to 20, the last index will be of this one. So calculate it using this formula and which is the page number, which are we are on. So current page multiplied by the wait, current page multiplied by limit. Now this is the last index. We also need first index. So we can say first index. Right. First index and this will be last index minus the limit. So last index and the first index we have. This is because we want to divide our posts using slice. I mean, we want to get the current posts for this current page. So we can have let current, let's say items equals to posts dot slice in here. We will pass first index comma last index. So now this current items will contain our current items for the first page. So we have to pass it here, not this posts save and it will get 10 because the limit is 10. Make it as let's say 20, we will get 20 posts. See, so fine. You can also manipulate it or just create one drop down to change the number of items per page. But we have to make this a state then, not a simple let variable. Fine. So we have now the current items. Now come over to this component called pagination.jsx. And I have changed this CSS, some, some CSS here to fit to, into this page. And in this component, we have this props like items count per page, total items count, page range displayed. So item count per page is 10. So basically we can pass it here, the limit in this page insertion component. So pass it like this, this limit. Fine. Now come here and let me destructure limit from this props and we can make this as 10 items count per page because now we'll get 10 posts per page, but I don't think we need this because we already have this implemented here like this. Fine. Now we have this another prop, which is page range displayed. So basically let's make it 20 or 15 or let's make it five. So if you make it five, we will see only five pages. So this means this can be our limit. So 
so the limit is 10 wait a second no this is the limit of posts so we have to have this current index sorry current items so we need the number of pages so let's say the number of pages we need to calculate here so for example okay we need to calculate the number of pages then what can we do is we can get the limit here which is 10 and the posts dot length so post or let's say let's say total posts posts equal to we need to add posts dot length so posts dot length is 100 and this will be now 100 and limit is 10 then I will divide 100 by 10 to get 10 pages per so we will get 10 pages yes 10 pages 10 posts per page total will be 100 posts so just come to this pagination component and let me get them from here so we are getting the limit already we need to get total posts like this now let's calculate so let pages equals to uh, total post divided by this limit now pass it here in the pages no, sorry pass pages in the page range displayed here save and now we'll get 10 so we can alter it for example let's say you want to have five pages or five posts per page we can make it five now you see the page number will increase because now we have 20 it means we have five posts per page and we have 100 posts so 5 into 100 sorry 5 into 20 20 pages now it's 100 so divide it back to 10 now we have this so we have 10 posts and 100 or 10 pages like this so this is the total items count so we can pass the total posts here and let's see nothing will change so it's redundant we can remove it because okay we don't need to remove it let's just pass it here refresh and this will work just fine so this was this pagination now let's change the pages and change the posts as, as well there is one thing to notice here let's say we have this one here in the current page change it to let's say five so if you change it to five the page number will change and you can see the other set of posts from this page number so if you want to change the pages we have to set this using this function so let's pass it here in the component of pagination and we can get it from here or destructure it then we can remove this and set the page number because this is the function that we're calling when we click the button that's getting the page numbers we have to simply set it here now save and we can refresh it once and then try again and try so click two we will get the next set of posts click three four and so on like this so this was pagination in react and how to implement it so basically in this component we have two classes active class and inner class you can get all of the css i mean you can get all of these uh, base code from the github repo i will put the link in the description all right then thank you for watching my video